Well, the flint napping didn't go all that well. The piece I was working on had a monster flaw in it, and uh, I tried to work it as much as I could, and um, I stopped. And I got thinking, wow, the sun's shining, it's a beautiful day. I should go out and look for arrowheads, because we have been melting quite a bit. I mean, out here in the country, snow melts faster than it does around my house, but I'm walking in a field, my favorite field, and I think I found one right in this area right here. This looks pretty good right there. It's my first find of uh, 2014. So I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, it's a dandy. Looks to be pretty much all there. Uh, just before this, I found a pitted stone and the tip of a drill. So that, that's a good looking little arrowhead right there. I'll uh, clean that up later. No, oh, maybe I can clean it up here. Hold on. A little bit of a puddle here where a deer actually walked here. Oh, yeah. I'll take those all day. That's a good one. Nice little corner notch, side notch, whatever. But uh, appears to be my first finds uh, all there. I'll turn this on if I find anything else. Well, I sure wish that one would have been whole. That's got nice... Um, notches on it, but uh, that's uh, it's probably been run over by a tractor or whatever. It looks pretty good though. It's a good looking point. Yeah, the band-aid's on there from the flint napping. I got had about enough bleeding. Well, there's another one to add to the collection. Let's see if I can find something whole next. It's been real sloppy looking out here, and a lot of fakers. You know, these willow leaves are the, these things right here. They fake you out big time, but I see something up here, and uh, looks pretty good to me. I saw this from a distance. If I can get down here and get this guy zoomed in. Oops, that gets in the shadow. There we go. That's a good looking point right there, whoops. A real good looking point. Yep. That's a little guy. But hey, that little guy's all there. I don't know. Light is crazy here. Pretty intense sunlight. That's a nice looking little point. I'll take those all day. Tiny little thing. Little bird point. Very cool. Hopefully there's another one or two laying out here like that. We just keep walking these soggy wet rows and see what we find. Almost every time I come in this field I, I find a piece of uh, metal wood point. There's a component here in this area and I'm trying to keep these all together because I'd like to see if I can get them put together someday, some of these tips and bases, but that's the base of a metal wood point right there. And I'll tell you, these guys are masters of thinness. It's just amazing you know, how thin they made these. And they're just very delicate side notches on them. So, keep looking this spot over. Hopefully I'll find a whole one of these someday, or at least two halves. I'll be back. Okay, here's a quick cleanup of what I found while I uh, did my first field hunt here. You can see that that's definitely got a pit in it. And if you look carefully, there's a pit also on this side. It doesn't show as deeply as that one. It's been nicked with the disc a few times. But there's a pit there. So this is kind of cool. Kind of a cutter scraper. Who knows? Looks like it's worked, you know, all the way around it. Probably like a spoke shave of some sort, whatever. But there was where my uh, my finds two and a half arrowheads. Can't complain. First time out, terrible looking conditions. Just as muddy as all can be. And a few doodads here, you know, just work pieces. There's that base of a. Uh, um, the metal wood right there and you can see that's an impact fracture on that that just got snapped and just a couple other things so anyway there's a wrap up of what I found and uh, hopefully this is the start of just a good year ahead I um, it'll be a while before they get really plowing because the ground's just so soggy and there's frost down in there about four inches below the surface of the muck so anyway thanks for watching I had a great time and I hope 
all you guys are out there finding them too. Thanks a lot. I'll be back.